Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. John Wise here with JPW Productions. Doing a product review today, comparing two column arrays. One that's very, very popular. One, I'm kind of one of the only DJs I know around that uses these, but I know they're a great speaker. But again, not too many DJs I run into have these. So what I'm talking about here is the Bose L1 Pro 16s. I got a little over a year and a half ago. And then the EV Evolve 50s, which is pretty much every DJ that's switching to column array is getting a pair of the EV 50s, either the 50s or the 50M. Um, so today I'm going to do an honest comparison. I've used these babies, probably the Bose, probably for over 50 events already. These I've only used for two events, one larger room, one smaller room. And I'm going to give you my pros and cons of each one, or basically of the, the EV. And we'll go over that right after this. Stay tuned. <laughs> This is another, another JPW, JPW production. All right, welcome back. We're here comparing the EV Evolve 50s to my favorite speakers right now, the Bose L1 Pro 16s. Again, the reason why I picked up a pair of the EVs, I really like the white. The Bose don't come in white as of yet. Bose, come on, let's do some white speakers. Um, they don't have them in white, and all my DJs I know, the ones that work for me, other DJs I run into, Everybody has the EV Evolves. They just love them. They switch to a column array. More than likely, they're picking up a pair of the EV Evolve 50s, either in black or white. And the question is, am I keeping it or am I going to return it? The thing is, I really like the white. So right now, I'm going to go over the pros and cons of the EV Evolve, in my opinion. Do a little comparison with the, with the uh, Bose. But the main thing is my feeling on the EV 50. First up, I always like to start with the positives. So the positives with the EV Evolves 50. Got my notes right here. So the positive, hands down, the build is just the best. I love the build and the look. It's just very nice look and it has a great build, very sturdy. The bows, not so much. This wiggle thing is a big topic online, on YouTube, on chat, you know, channels and stuff like that. But big, big conversation about this. My biggest fear when I'm DJing a wedding, especially if I'm right next to the dance floor, is somebody bumping into this. Last weekend, or two weekends ago, I had a wedding and the bridal party was literally right in front. Had a couple guys that had a few too many drinks and they almost bumped into this a bunch of times. So the whole night, I'm on defense making sure they don't hit that. Now I know a lot of DJs will say, hey, just put them behind you against the wall. That's fine, but I like my hearing. I wanna be able to hear in the future. So um, I'm gonna put them out in front and tow them out a little bit. So. That's one thing here. The one positive, another positive about these is the white ones. I feel in the dark, once they dim the lights down in the venue, you could see these so much better. So people are less likely to bump into them. Plus the EV is just way sturdier, just a sturdy, it just feels sturdy. Just a, it's like a tank. This is more of a diva, a diva speaker. It sounds great, but yeah, don't bump me. It's very diva-ish. Another thing I really like about the EVs is the ease of use, the way, uh, the controls are right here. You can use your app on your phone to control it. it. has Bluetooth. A lot of the newer speakers have Bluetooth and stuff, but just the overall way to do the settings and stuff, very user-friendly, great. I have no issues whatsoever with it. I do wish for the column speakers, companies would start doing uh, a locking power cord rather than one that just slides in just so it snaps in so people are less likely or it's less likely from the bass vibrating of coming out. Um, I've never had to do, do that before, but it does wiggle out a little bit sometimes at weddings. So if it locked in, that would be a great addition. But other than that, the build, like I said, the controls and everything, top notch for the EV, no complaints whatsoever. Two more pros for the EV Evolve 50. Another one I really like, I think they're one of the only companies that does this, but they include the column bag with the purchase. So you don't have to go searching online, hoping they're in stock. They come with the speaker. So all you really have to do is buy a sub bag. Um, you could buy one. I think they offer two different types from EV, one with wheels, one that's just a slip cover, or there's a bunch of other brands out there that make them, like the ones I bought for the Bose. I'll put some links in the description below the ones I suggest. But yeah, that's great that the column comes, the column bag comes with this speaker when you buy it. So that's a great thing that uh that EV does for you. Um, the other thing I really wanted to talk about was bass. So the bass on here, not sub, just the bass, the lows, uh, it really has a nice kick to it. When you're standing in front of it, you really feel that kick where the Bose L1 Pro 16 doesn't have quite the kick this has, but it has more of the sub sound. So 
for instance, you go out of the room and you go into the bathroom across the hall from the venue, you can feel the vibrations in the ground from this thing. Where this is more of a punch right in your face when you're standing in front of it on the dance floor. This is more sub sounds, doesn't quite have the punch, but definitely sub level sound on this thing is much more powerful. Um, so that's my pros for the EV. Now we're gonna get into the cons right after this. All right. We talked about all the things I like about the speaker. Obviously the look, I love it. The way it's built, it's built like a tank. I love it, roadworthy. Bose, not so much. It's more of a diva speaker as I like to call it. Um, very unstable. This, like a rock. So yeah, so that's it. But now we're into the cons. What don't I like about the EV Evolve 50s and am I gonna return them? That's the question. So number one, highs and mids. Now overall, if you were just to hear these two at a venue, typical country club for a wedding, I guarantee you the sound out of this is just gonna blow you away compared to this. I noticed it right away when I did a sound check. The mids and the highs on the bows are heads above the, the EV. EV still sounds good, but when you've been using something like this, it the acoustically it just is amazing how good it sounds. Okay, the biggest con I have with the EV Evolve 50, in this one, even if everything else was perfect, just this one con on the EV Evolve 50 is the reason I am returning them. I already got the return label printed up. I just want to do this quick video with it before I package it up and ship it back to Sweetwater. The shout out to Melissa over at Sweetwater for hooking me up. Uh, but yeah, the main con I have on this speaker, and I know tons of DJs use them out there, and I'm probably going to get some feedback from this in my comment section, but... I gotta tell it how it is. I've been DJing over 25 years, 30 years. I've heard all kinds of speakers. My biggest con with this speaker is there's no headroom. And what do I mean by headroom? Google it if you don't know what headroom is, if you're new to the DJing world. But basically what that is, is when you're DJing, you have your faders up, let's say halfway. You still have a lot of power ahead of you. So if you need to turn it up or the dance floor is really packing up with a lot of people and you're into a club mix, you want to crank it up a little bit, you have that headroom to move it up without distorting the sound or clipping your speakers or anything like that. With my Bose, honestly, same settings. I have the Unity Gain coming out of the mixer. Everything's set perfectly, pretty much the same for both speakers. When I use the Bose, I barely go past five. So if you get a up to 10 on your fader, I'm at five. If I go more than five, I'm loud with these things. All my gains for all my line inputs are probably around, I don't know, they're, they're not even at 12 o'clock. They're, they're down even less than that because there's so much power coming out of these bows. It's just amazing. So I have tons of headroom with these. The EV Evolves, on the other hand, I've done, I did two weddings back to back with them. One was a smaller country club setting with about 100 people. The second one was about 120 people at the farmhouse where you've seen my gig logs at the farmhouse. It's a larger venue. But both of them, I found myself at 10 and needing more. And then I look back and I'm clipping already. I mean, it wasn't even that loud. It was like 100 people on the or in the room, maybe 30, 40 people on the dance floor, already clipping. Text one of my DJ buddies. I said, what do you set these at? Am I doing something wrong here? I thought I had everything set. Pretty much had all the same settings. I did have the bass kicked up a couple notches just because I wanted more of that punch. I turned everything back down to zero. So everything was at zero on here. The line, the gain, everything was at zero. Still was clipping when I wanted to turn it up a little bit. So right there's a deal breaker for me right there. You have no headroom, in my opinion, with these speakers. Once you reach that sound up at 10, there's nothing left. I mean... I was having to turn all the gains. I spent half the night adjusting the gains, everything, just to get more sound out of them without, you know, ruining the unity gain and all that stuff. So not happy about that. After Saturday's wedding, I said they look cool. I love the design. I love that they're like a tank. They're built great, but they just don't have the headroom I need as a DJ. And I've used tons of speakers over the year. I was a JBL guy for years um, with the Bose. Just to give you a perfect example, the bows I've had, like I mentioned, over 50 weddings I've done, I've never clipped them once, never even come close. And I've done huge weddings, not huge, but I mean up to 200 people with these. Um, it's getting to the, you know, I mean, you can't go much bigger than that with a set of these, but up to 200 people, average size room, more than enough headroom. Never clipped them, nothing like that. These, I was maxed out at a 100 person wedding trying to get the volume up to get the party going. So that was a deal breaker for me. So if you have something, a suggestion with these, to me, they're a nice speaker for cocktail music, the beginning of a dance night, you know, with the music 
average size or sound, but if you want to crank it out and like really push them later on, you got no headroom with these. So that's a deal breaker. I'm sending them back. Sorry, all you EV fans out there, but that was a deal breaker. If I'm, if you have any suggestions, I'm not returning them on Thursday. So um, the clock is ticking. If you got some suggestions, I could change the settings on here. Like I said, I've been doing this a long time. I pretty much know what all my settings are. I wasn't peaking on the mixer or anything like that. Everything was set right. And man, I was already at 10 when I got into the club mix mode at that wed both weddings. So that's a deal breaker. Sorry I'm long-winded talking a lot here, but that's my comparison. EV Evolves, see ya. And another note, I forgot to mention this. So um, before we go to the final credits here and ask you to like and subscribe and all that stuff, I am returning the EV Evolve 50s, like I said, but I have a new speaker coming. You ready? What's it gonna be? Should I tell you or should I not tell you? I'll tell you. The new speaker I ordered, speakers I ordered, are the new LD Systems Maui uh, 28G3s. Um, if you know anything about them, um, put some comments in there. Um, but those just came out recently. They are out of stock everywhere. Actually, Melissa, again, thanks. Shout out to Melissa at Sweetwater. She said they had two pairs in, so I ordered a pair. Going to use a store credit when I return these to pay for those. And those, I'm hoping, because they are white, because I still like the white speaker, and I like the build. I want a nice build. It sounds like the LD Systems is going to satisfy my needs. I'm just hoping they sound great from all the reviews I read. Um, says they're great, but again, I'm the type. I got to use them and make sure they work. So my next one's going to be the Bose L1 Pro 16 versus the Maui 28 G3s. That's coming soon. Until then, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my rant. If you have any comments about the EV Evolve 50s, I know a million DJs use those, but to me, they're not for me. I need more headroom. I need more power if I need it. So those, sorry, sending them back. Peace out to the next one. Like and subscribe. See ya.